Today I'm making a jack-o'-lantern pumpkin garland with my two-year-old son and I wanted to show you how we did it in case you're looking for a quick and easy Halloween craft that you can make with kids or yourself if you're of the less crafty variety. Give me a thumbs up if you'd like to see me make more kid crafts with help from my tiny assistant. So I found these craft foam pumpkins on sale at the craft store, but you can really easily just trace a pumpkin shape and cut them out yourself if you don't have access to the pre-cut ones. Then I started cutting out lots of shapes to use for eyes, noses, and mouths using a sheet of black craft foam. Feel free to get creative here or just cut out a bunch of triangles and semicircles if you want to go more classic with it. My son helped out with this step by practicing arranging the shapes on the pumpkins while I cut them out, and also by making a huge mess in my studio. I'd also like to take a moment to apologize for the lighting in this video. I wasn't sure how the toddler would react to my studio lights. He tends to knock them over, so we just used some good old natural sunlight this time around. Here is the fun part and the messy part. With a little help, let the kid glue the faces to the pumpkin shapes. I was pleasantly surprised with how well this went. This was my first time helping him use liquid glue and he really didn't make that much of a mess. I was really tempting fate there with my lack of putting newspaper down on the table first and everything turned out fine. After the glue dried and while my kid was sleeping, I took the opportunity to make some pumpkin stems out of green cardstock. You can totally use craft foam for this step too, I just used what I had around. Fold over a scrap piece of paper and trace the pumpkin stem so the fold is at the top. Then connect the sides of the stem and cut it out, leaving the fold at the top. This will give us a bit of a loop to thread some twine through so you can hang up the pumpkins on a garland. Fold down the edge of the green cardstock, then trace the stem shape with the same edge along the fold and leave a little extra room at the top to make it easier to thread. Then cut them all out. Glue one stem onto each pumpkin, securing the front and the back of it. I used hot glue here to save time, but only because my son was napping safely out of the room. Then lay out all of your pumpkins so you can see how much twine you need and trim it to size. You could probably push the twine through each stem on your own, but I used one of these tapestry needles and that made it a lot easier. And once all of your pumpkins are on the twine, tie a loop onto each end so you can hang it up. And there you go, some pretty funny looking jack-o'-lanterns that you can hang on a wall or a bookshelf to decorate for Halloween. If you end up making this garland too, post pictures of it on social media and tag me at LaurenFairWX. I always love seeing how everyone gets so creative with my DIY Please projects. Please help me doing this one. Oh, do you want to help me, Rory? And help me. Okay. In the comments below, tell me about your favorite kind of Halloween or fall decoration. Do you like carving pumpkins or making your house super scary? I want to know about it because I am in serious need of more decorations for this time of year and I'm always looking for interesting ideas. Remember to subscribe to my channel if you're new here and click the notification bell too. It would mean a lot to me. Thanks so much for watching, happy Halloween, and I'll see you soon. Bye everybody. Thank you for making this for me. Oh, you're welcome. You're making a Pegasus. Yeah. You're making my eyes. You want to fix something? You want to fix something?